Okay, we're back and Jack, that'll give us a chance to uh, take some measurement about uh, field of view. I know from the prototype camera to the production camera, the uh, back focus of the sensor is not the same. So uh, that'll give us an idea nonetheless uh, about uh, field of view here. So let's increase, this is 200 uh, milliseconds and again, got 31. So we're gonna go back up again. I'm right in the light pollution right now. So I'm going to lower it again to about 18. Turn up again at about, uh, turn up the exposure about 900 milliseconds or so, give or take. Um, yeah, 900 even. 900.853 here is the uh, indication to show. And the gain's a bit high, so then that's it. Yeah, the light pollution is definitely interfering. So right, right, right in the light pollution. And the full moon, so it doesn't get any worse than that, folks. <laughs> All right, let's engage the light side here. I really want to take uh, note of this since it's because uh, we want to measure the uh, uh, the field of view. Because uh, I've got the exact same focal we're going through with a 10 millimeter spacer. Um, from the prototype of the 287, and this is a production. It's still got a uh, decent view. Right? If it would have no light pollution, if you have light pollution in the moon right now, I think it'd be a nice, uh, really, really nice image. It's not bad at all. But I'm right dead center in the light pollution of Chai Tiger. So you can just imagine how uh, ugly this is. Yes, uh, the radius of the prototype was 0 0.197 degrees, correct. Certainly uh, not uh, nice due to the light pollution, and I don't have a filter or anything on it, straight uh, from the scope to the camera. But uh, we do see uh, 57 pretty nice. Uh, I mean, M51, sorry about that. Quite uh, impressive. Here we go again. Okay. Well, the program that you used this morning, Jack, I think is, is the most accurate one. <clears throat> and I think we'll have to redo the, the uh, uh, discount somehow. Uh, that's why I went on the M50, uh, M51. Okay, let me turn this up a little bit. Maybe go try to center as best as I can. Okay, there we go. This is what I would like to see here. Starts for reference. The, there we go. The took off the camera. He's a single frame. Uh, uh, that's my environment now. So, uh, not uh, too pleasant. We've got two second exposure at the moment, and I'm going to try to get the average stacking to reduce the, uh, the noise. So, we're going to average the noise basically, is what we're doing. We're not gaining any time exposure out of this. It's just straight noise reduction. It'd be a nice dark sky. This image would look definitely beautiful. We could see a lot of detail in there. That's pretty neat. Very, very neat to look at. Yeah, I've got high clouds here for sure. Definitely. See that? The moon's up and it's going right through the clouds right now. I'm going to be able to continue much, much longer, but let's turn that up to three seconds. So that's 3,000 milliseconds. And I'm going to lower it again. This time down to about there you go. Four. All right, four seems okay. Yeah, 
high clouds in the moon. It's red. Outside, it's red, red, red. Everywhere with that crazy red moon. It's, uh, it's, it's difficult, but hey, uh, still get that thing. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me. I'm, I know I know what's happening here, obviously, and uh, I just want to get the feel of you here. Wow. That light pollution is a killer. We're right in the dead center of giant tigers. Uh, light pollution, unfortunately, and uh, plus the full moon as well. Oh, uh, right now, because you're running a lot of exposure to frame rate drops, obviously. But if you want me to show you, uh, I will. And to get the high frame rate, you just need to lower the exposure down to that 100 milliseconds. Here's the hang on. Allow me to recollect. Uh, oh, I gotta stop the recording. Hang on, hang on. Let me see if I can. Uh, no, I gotta stop the recording. Uh, just throw you that. Hang on. All right, I'll stop that. Let me select the area again, and I'm gonna include the frame rate at the bottom. Okay. Watch this. Can you see the frame rate lower right corner? Frame rate is 0 0.2. Well, that's because the um, exposure is three seconds. Now, if you want to get high frame rate, this would be great for planets and things like this. You gotta bring the exposure time down to about 100 milliseconds. Turn up the game if you want to see something. Of course, we won't. Watch that frame rate go up. Oh, uh, frame rate. I gotta change that. Too high. There we go. Show you that. There you go. 499, 494. I added that. Uh, I had it earlier at uh, 525.6. Now it's running a little slower. So I'm not sure why. Uh, but you got 494 at the bottom. Yeah, earlier on, I was, when I first started the camera, she was running at uh, 525.6 frames per second. So if you look at the bottom screen here, uh, we're at 491, 494. Uh, let me see here. Oh, yeah, for sure. Big time. Big time. At work, I got 525. Here, I got 525.6 earlier on. I might be doing something there. Don't forget those rates. Hang on. I clearly would here. Yeah. Uh, let me get to loop for a minute and then go back to the video mode. 47, 492, 491. That slowed down a little bit. Oh, I know why. That's because we're recording with uh, KVY. KVY is active. If I shut that down, uh, it's going to go back up to what it is. But if I shut KVY down, you're going to lose the broadcast. So KVY takes away from, uh, uh, from the frame rate. 492, 494-ish, and uh, uh, this one here, actually, uh, earlier on, as I said, when I first plugged the camera, I didn't have KVY on, it went up to 525.6, no problem at all, but if I would shut down uh, KVY right now, it would go up to 525. And the reason it's at 494 instead of 525 is KVY is taking some of the uh, some of the uh, resources for their rebroadcasting it. It needs to take frames. Uh, I'm not recording a file right now. I am going to record one now. Hang on. But again. And uh, okay, uh, let me try that. Uh, the frame rate at 25 frames per second. 
for, uh, you know that I'm recording, it draws down to 41. So KBY is taking all my, my, my stuff away, 479, see? And the frame rate on KBY is at 25 frames. So we're missing what? Frame. We're down to 466, 459. That's because I'm recording. If I stop recording and shut down KBY, then we get back up to, uh, we go back up to 525 to 525.6. KBY is a, is a resource sucker. I'm telling you. CPU is going at 50%. So while I'm using KBY to rebroadcast to you guys, I'm using the same frame rate there, and I'm recording on top of that. Now it's down to 444 frames. But if it wouldn't be for KBY or, or broadcasting, it'd be up to 525 frames per second, like it did earlier. It's pretty cool. What I might do is uh, grab a screen grab after I'm done here when I stop broadcasting, and I'll shut down that KBY and the software here to, uh, to broadcast. MSN, and uh, I'll take a frame grab of, uh, of that and uh, frame rate. Uh, yes, it is. That's uh, the size of it is uh, 720 by 540, I believe it is. Yeah, 720 by 540. That's what it says. Yeah. But nonetheless, we're getting pretty good uh, wide field of view here on uh, M51. Whoops. Oh. Here's M51, and with light pollution and full moon, red bloody moon, actually. Uh, it's not bad at all for what it is. Now we're down to 273, 215. So it's dropping because I just turned up the exposure to. Uh, 2.9 uh, seconds. Oh yeah, I tell you, Jeff, uh, this thing goes up uh, to 525 easily. I work on a computer. I use an i5, and it's only four gig memory. This guy here's an i7, the latest generation. I have 16 gig memory. And right now, while I'm broadcasting, and I'm using KBY and recording and broadcasting on NSN, so frame rate drops down. But when you go in, in seconds, in many seconds like that, the frame rate's going to drop. That's how exposure works. No, no, it's not SSD. It's uh, 7200 RPM, uh, one terabyte, I believe it is. Brand new computer. Uh, I got made uh, by Lenovo. And I uh, managed to shut down uh, the uh, updates from Windows, which destroyed the computer earlier on. Yeah, it would actually. Uh, you're yeah, absolutely right. There is an SSD drive in it, but for Windows. So there's two drives. Uh, Windows that rest on the SSD drive, while the disk drive is actually uh, for programs and things like that. It would help big time to have an SSD drive. I, I might upgrade it to that. Who knows? It's not a big thing for me. Uh, it works. Uh, it works really, really well the way it is. But now I'm recording this. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna stop broadcast and the recording of it. I'm going to make the camera go to 525 frames. I'm going to take a frame grab, basically a screen grab, and I'll post that on the on the group, and you can see the uh, the actual speed of it, and it'll be a clear image. And not fuzzy like it is now. Uh, yeah, if it's uh, if it's a solid state, uh, it's not bad at all. If it's a solid state drive, that's the way to go. There's no question about it. When I got a computer built earlier this year, if I don't know, it cost a lot more than that. Because the stuff they put in there is, is different class, I guess, than everybody else. And it's a lot more expensive than than anything else. So what I'm going to do is uh, eventually, probably gonna, I would rather have a, a separate drive, actually. Uh, like Jack has, I think it's a four terabyte he's got, three terabyte. I don't know if it's a solid state that Jack has. Uh, I'd be curious to find out. But anyways, because of the, the horrible condition we have tonight, the giant tiger, uh, uh, light pollution, plus the full moon coming up, which is up, and, and those tiny red, and thin clouds. We're looking for clouds at the moment. 
uh, yeah, they have actually, uh, Jeff. Yes, I understand that. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the broadcast and I'm going to take a frame uh, grab of the, of the screen. Uh, and I'll be able to post that a little bit later for, to show you the, uh, the frame speed that I got uh, on this computer. So I'd like to thank everybody here for uh, coming over because it points us to carry on with the sky conditions I got here and the giant tiger and all of that stuff. So thank you very much, everyone. And I'm going to grab a screen grab of the, uh, the frame and I'm going to post that up on the group. Thanks again, folks, for being here. And uh, hopefully some of you will show up to the video and start working. If tomorrow night's clear, I'm going to try this on the 8 inch, exact same camera, and hopefully we'll do it for on the VRC8. Okay, have a good night, everyone. Thank you.